Hello everyone and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Banaui, nestled amidst the Cor de Ira Mountains in the Ifugao province of the Philippines, is adorned with lush greenery, towering mountains, and verdant rice terraces. The Ifugayu people are renowned for their intricate and skillfully crafted handicrafts with the traditional art passed down through generations. Dati at pait mit la ang kasto yung ako. Ngem naklaklasiti arami din da ada tinuang ken layon ken tigri kasto ay suti arami din da kito de duma ka kadua nga ag ag ukit. So ti inaramid mi santo pangkargaan mi diay kayo nga iyik dito itapno paitan mi jay ko ukitin mi so ti popos na dito yung wooden scooter Carvers use a variety of tools including chisels gouges and knives to carefully shape the wood and removing excess material Sakmit ni Robert Duyugin, dito ay Puteo Viewpoint. Dati nga adda kami dito ay Puteo. Iti tawin ko itatamit, kit 57. So nga iti nagrukiyak nga agar aramit iti pakastoy pa yung layon. Kit nitatangko, kit isuti ako ko kit. Ifugayu wood carvings often carry symbolic meaning, reflecting the rich cultural and spiritual traditions of the Ifugayu people. The traditional wooden scooters and banaui, known as sud sud, play a crucial role in the daily lives of the Ifugayu people. emerged as a solution for transportation of goods and people in a landscape filled with steep hills and valleys. Local hardwood species, such as nara or ipil, are chosen for their durability, grain patterns, and ability to hold fine details. Crafting a suit suit involves precise shaping and a combination of traditional and modern techniques. The log is cut into the desired length and width, with the underside carefully shaped to provide a smooth gliding surface. Happy, happy. Years of experience make sure that every cut of the wood is made with precision, allowing a mechanically viable assembly. Mm -hmm. 
unlike the large wooden wheels used for carts or vehicles, the wheels of the Sudsud are relatively small, typically measuring around 12 to 18 inches in diameter. Rubber strips are added to the outer circumference of the wheel, using nails to attach them to the wood. This strip provides better grip on various surfaces, including uneven terrain, wet conditions, and loose gravel. Use of durable hardwood ensures that the wheels can withstand the wear and tear of regular use and challenging terrain. Angkel mga nang aramid idi. So nga nakita mi nga umayak mi kay ang tekasta ang wooden scooter. So nga ko apa mi kinita kita anya ti ang kaskasta nang nang aramid. So di ti in this rubber also providing a constant reference point for the desired wheel thickness as the wood is carved until it gets the strip width. As with the other pieces, the stem, fork, and handle are made from a suitable hardwood log to withstand the stress and forces of maneuvering. The log is cut to the desired length for the stem base, typically around one foot, and its initial shaping involves removing excess wood, establishing its basic form. Metal rings are inserted into the base, serving as the connection between the handling stem and the deck of the scooter. Wooden pegs or nails are carefully driven through the platform and into the stem base, firmly securing the two pieces together. The carefully fork-shaped stem gets its metal hoop attachments, inserted by force using a hammer. An iron or steel rod is inserted between the hoops, which allows mobility of the stem and serves as the connection to the main body. The carved handle piece is attached to the stem with a nail, which is enough to guarantee control of the scooter direction. Awang pay tiraga di idi, anusan mi ang atak batag batin ti kasto yung kaslang atabla, tay suti mi aramid ije kanti scooter. An axle for the wheels is made by using two nails placed at the center of the wheel. Assembling the axle to the fork allows good rotation to the wheel without any interferences. Adding the seating pieces finalizes the construction of the Sudsud. 
depending on the skill and experience of the craftsman, may last two to three days. Such scooters are moved by gravity, using the gradient of the Itagayo Hills, using the wooden brake pad to control its velocity and traction. During the Imbaiya Festival, riders from different villages compete on a 4.3-mile course that starts from the Rice Terrace's viewpoint to a finish line in the town proper. This competition that showcases the skill, agility, and competitive spirits of the Ifagayo people in the engineering of the Sudsud. Across the globe, Various cultures have developed unique handmade transport options. This includes the Arctic or Hakodomera wooden sleds. Similar to the Sud Sud, the Chukwi people created the Chukudu scooter. Characterized by its long, narrow platform and curved handlebars. The suit suit significance extends beyond its practical value, as it embodies the Ifugayu people's resourcefulness. That's the end of this video. We hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.